So I'm going to make you a cleaner video here. Uh, setting, debug mode, right? We're going to go from scratch. Uh, next step, go into maintenance, studio, edit a new menu, create a new menu, maintenance, uh, material, cost, and just click create, don't click edit, confirm, confirm. Now we have our new model. And on that new model, we can go in and be create the record and then begin editing the specific record. And we can remove the name and we can uh, go in and have our, our maintenance request. We can have our um, text for the actual um, material. If you just want to have a text, for that, you could also have a database of all different materials that can be involved on a job, right? You can have a, you can create your own table for all the different materials, but we'll just, and right, you could automatically assign a cost to those materials, which could be actually fairly interesting for you guys if you wanted to, to do that. But for this sake, we'll just do it simply. Um, and then right, we'll have our PO number. And again, you could also store all your purchase orders in here and then just have this table relate to the purchase orders. So it's a drop down of all your existing purchase orders and you can you don't have to manually type them in. And then lastly, this is the most important part. Make sure to do a monetary value here. That's fine. We add our currency and we make our currency uh, read only. And then we'll add another field and we'll make sure it's monetary again. And we'll name this material costs. Now when I close, You'll see can't change the currency, only like an admin would change it. But we could do a material, we'll create our own request here. We'll call it, a, actually let's go out of here, go to maintenance requests, create, we'll call this test one, two, three. And we'll edit studio. And here we'll drop our tabs. Have a tab for description, have another tab for material costs. And on material costs, we drop the one to many. Actually, we can do this. We'll actually remove these to make it cleaner. And now we'll drop our, our one to many here. We'll relate it to the only thing it's able to be related to at this point. And we'll have a nice clean table here. Of, hmm. Yeah, it'll pull the value. Um, I screwed that up, but whatever, that's cosmetic. Just don't delete those two columns up top. Um, so then we'll go in here and we can add existing fields like material, um, the maintenance request, the material costs, and the PO number. We can remove name. Perfect. Now we go here, edit, add our material costs, right? This one, PO number one, two, three. Material equals wood, material costs 1250. It shows up there. And we can easily save it. Now to edit this, it's simple. Studio, material costs, click this record, go to view, go to XML, click here and go to the studio view, this is the view we just created. Open up the brackets again by removing them and then just put sum equals material, uh, yeah, material costs. Oops. And close the bracket. And when you do that, it'll create that. You could also have something like ABG, right? And it'll take the average of your material costs. For this, which is also kind of cool. I mean, it's geeky, but it's cool. Um, right, we can say the same thing. We'll say um, PO number is wood again and 100, uh, 1005. And you'll see the average is $508.78 for the wood we've spent on this project. You'll probably also want to have units of wood too, and right, and getting into all that, but you wouldn't average it in this instance. You would actually. Uh, you'd actually go in and, and probably sum it. So let me, whenever this happens, just go in here. Uh, maintenance. 
so open and for your instance we click here we uh, we're not in debug XML and change right go here again and change that from average to sum. And we'll do a sum operation on that. And you'll see it'll add it for you automatically. And then you'll have your uh, right, your total material costs listed here. And you can easily add them right from here. Right, system just computes it automatically. And then as I go into my material costs, I'd see if I updated this view, the um, I'd see the, the total costs. Again here, right, you can see the material, you can see the, uh, the maintenance request, and you can see the PO number. We can remove the name field from here. And to change this view, it's the same concept, right? Go back into the XML, update the studio, sum equals field name, material costs, close bracket, save, and it updates your cost here. And then you can get even fancier, right? You can say, well, group by maintenance request. And it'll sum everything per maintenance request and all that, right? Because it's just going to sum all records according to whatever filter you apply and, and all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty cool stuff. Let me know if you have questions.